What's up everybody? Today I want to share a project with you that I've been working on. I customized the radio panel file in CSGO so that it executes console commands instead of the regular radio command. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a rundown of all the 27 options I made and I'll follow it up with installation instructions at the end. So here's a screenshot of all the options that are going to be in this menu and I'll show you how to use them and what they do. Now you're going to access these menus by pressing Z, X, and C by default. You can check what keys will open this by going to your keyboard settings and looking at these radio messages. The first option in the online feature is going to enable NetGraph. And this is going to show you FPS, your ping, and other useful information. Pressing 2 will cancel it. Pressing 3 on the online features is going to move between left hand and then pressing 4 is going to go to right hand. Now this is useful in situations where your view model is going to be blocking important information on the maps. By pressing number 5, you're going to enable game hints, which will show you the location of the bomb through smoke and other obstacles. Pressing 6 will disable game hints. If someone's mic spamming a game and you don't want to hear them, you can press 8 to disable voice chat, and then press 7 to re-enable it. If bullet holes and blood on the wall drop your frames, or you just want better visibility, you can press 9 on the menu and it will clear all decals. For the offline features, your first option is going to be enabling cheats. Now this is important for offline because it will allow you to access all the SV cheat commands. Number two in the offline features is going to toggle god mode, which means you're not going to take fall damage or damage from other players. If you want to practice throwing nades or spraying without having to reload or rebuy nades every round, you can press three to enable infinite ammo which means you can keep practicing smokes or sprays. If you're practicing wall bangs or sprays and want to see where your bullets are landing, you can open the offline menu and press 4 to enable bullet impacts. This will show you where all your bullets land. If you want to practice smokes without having to follow their path, you can open the menu and press 6 to enable grenade trajectory. Now this is going to show you the exact path all grenades follow after you throw them. Pressing 7 will disable grenade trajectory. If you're offline and you run out of money, you can open the menu and press 8. After you wait a second, you'll respawn and you'll have $60,000. If you start up an offline and forget to remove bots, you can press 9 after enabling cheats to get rid of all the bots. If you want to add bots for practicing, you can open the extra features and press 1 or 2 depending on which team you want the bots to spawn in on. If you want to place bots, you can open the menu and press 3 while looking at a specific location and the bot will spawn there. Pressing 4 will enable him to crouch and pressing 5 will disable the crouch. This means that you can practice boosts with him. Commands number 6 through 9 are going to be useful radio commands that could be used to communicate with teammates. To install this menu, all you have to do is visit the Mediafire link in the description, download the TXT file, go into Steam, Library, right click on CSGO, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, head over to CSGO, Resource, UI, and it's a good idea to copy and back up this radio panel just in case you want to revert it to the original. I recommend putting it in a folder on your desktop. Once you do that, all you have to do is drag the new radio panel file into the folder and move and replace. And that's all you have to do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.